We have really been neglecting the 65 gallon display lately, so it's time to clean things up a little bit and add some Reef Nutrition Apex Pods. I know you guys never think the tank looks bad from video, but just being here, seeing it all the time, uh, there's just a lot of stuff, a lot of overgrowth that needs to be cut back. I mean, like, look at this. This is just growing out of control. Like, it's good problems to have, but we are very limited on space. So I, I need to get, get this taken care of. Things are starting to just grow and kill each other because there's nowhere for it to go. I'm even starting to get some algae, diatom looking stuff on the on the sand bed. Our tiger conch is doing work, but I guess he can't, he can't keep up. These favias are already growing amazing. I'm gonna put them on plates. We did have this one sad, sad occasion here. So the tank has been a little neglected because I have not been here much. I've been having my mom kind of tanks it and she feeds the fish and makes sure that everybody's happy, tops off the RO. But other than that, like I'm not here to trim trees and whatnot in the tank. So we gotta just take care of it now. I got a nice little list going here of what we need to do, starting with cleaning the front glass so you could see what the heck is going on? Let's rock and roll. Everybody thinks it's feeding time. You know, I do this every time. I just let this get so bad that then when it's time to do it, I always say like, why didn't I just take care of it as it built up? But here we are again. Now let's get these guys on these plugs. These guys really started to take off quick. and I'm sure this is going to help them tremendously. I haven't been able to show you guys like a good view of this piece. It's really nice. I don't usually use the orange glasses before the tank is like all blue and this looks kind of wild. These are much better. You could definitely see all, okay, fish, very nice. You can definitely see all the algae a lot better when you put the uh, orange sunglasses on. It's real nice, but look at this. Look how many heads we got popping out here. This guy finally, it was only two heads for the longest time and then all of a sudden it had like a growth spurt and it's just popping out heads left and right. Next up is fragging this green slimer here. It is starting to grow really, really nice, but it's growing into the blue plate here. So we're gonna just chop that little edge off. Let's see if we can uh, make this kind of smooth. Oh no. Not good guys, we snapped the entire green slimer off of the base. I don't even know what to do here. It was growing so nice. That sucks. Really, really bad. Had to rig it up a little bit. Jam that sucker down in the little crack there because it wasn't glowing to anything. Who knows, maybe this will be cool because now we'll get another section growing off there. Once it's done sliming, maybe it will, it will look decent. Now I want to add some white zombies right down here. These guys grew pretty quick and already have a third little baby pile up there. I'm gonna keep these on the plug so that way maybe I could break it off in the future. Hopefully they will grow up and fill in that spot a little bit. Now that we have the tank all cleaned up, we can go ahead and add some live Kofi pods. We will be using Reef Nutrition Apex Pods. This video is sponsored by Reef Nutrition, who is gonna be attending Skelly Fest 2023 this year. Their Apex Pods are little baby 100 to 700 micron Kofi pods that are alive in here. They're great at seeding tanks. They're an awesome part of the cleanup crew. A lot of you guys recommended Kofi pods to me for the Studio 12, which we are gonna put a bottle of these in there to see if it helps with the diatom situation. Kopi pods are also really great for any finicky fish that you may have, pipefish, mandarins, uh, seahorses. These are really, really tiny, so all the fish can eat them. As many of you guys know, I do use other reef nutrition food as well. I feed pack pods. I also have the medium pellets for this tank and B2 pellets for the little Pico tank. Thank you so much to Reef Nutrition for sponsoring today's episode and being a sponsor for Skelly Fest 2023. So in these bottles, there's like 2,000 Kopi pods in here. Let me try to get you a little sight on them. See them dancing around in there? They do repopulate, so a lot of people put them in their sumps, so that way it gives them a chance to do so without getting eaten by the fish and invertebrates and all that other good stuff. So that is an option. I don't have a sump, so I'm not gonna do that. If you go that route where you wanna keep them, like, you know, the population moving, they recommend getting their phyto feast, which is what they eat to keep them, you know, 
growing. They give you this little uh, direction card, seed the difference. Funny what they did there. If you want to direct feed them or put them in your display, this is what we're gonna do. You're supposed to turn the lights off, but I kind of want the fish to see them and eat them right now. So we're not gonna do that part, but we're gonna turn the wave makers off and uh, we're just gonna pour them in that puppy. Pump us off. All right, y'all ready? I know y'all ready, look at this, look at this. They're just, you're, you're not gonna be able to eat them all. <laughs> They're so tiny, you can't even really see them, to be honest. You kind of see some, some stuff going on there. Hide, hide, guys. The fish are like, oh, little snacks, little snack. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Woohoo! Okay. Well, how'd we do? That seems simple enough. I'm gonna add the other bottle now. Dinner time, done. It says to let them chill for like 30 minutes, so we're gonna add some to the Studio 12 while these guys get settled in. Let's actually add a little splash to this guy. You get him, Glitch. By the way, guys, this dude did indeed make this entire polyp shrivel up and die. Uh, what's up with that? I thought all of AKNs could touch with no issues at all, so that was a bit of a surprise. Yummy! Alright guys, are you ready? There's something over here that I can't show you guys yet. It's a uh, secret... Chicka 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 choo! I'm pretty sure that feeder's about to go off too. They're getting a lot of food at once. Guys, we gotta get some coral in here, man. What, what, uh, drop some comments. What are some of the first pieces you think we should go ahead and put in here? I am really happy that our dotty back has started to become more outgoing. I am very curious to see if it helps clean all this up. I wonder how long it will take. We started to get some green algae too. And we're done. Woo! Look what just went off. Boop! Oh my goodness! That's not good. What the heck happened here? This thing opened up? Holy jeez. Oh wow, this tank just got so much food. That is not great. I'm gonna scoop some out. <laughs> Look at the three buddies just hanging out eating some freaking kopi pods. Wow. They don't know what to do. They're gonna eat so much that their bellies are gonna hurt. Just a little pellet fishing. You know. I don't even know why that happened. That's I've never seen that money come out. It must have moved or something. What should we do with this? I know. Woohoo! Look at them all. Feisty little fish. Look at Grumpy. <laughs> now everything's back in order and Kopi Paws are in all of our tanks. Thanks so much to Reef Nutrition for sponsoring today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Catch my wave,